Okay, so we should be able to click this thing right here. Hey guys, Seiji here. We ran so many volts this episode. We might have even unlocked a new mod with an amazing armor set. Also, thank you guys so much for 925 subscribers. We're so close to that thousand subscriber mark. So if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe whenever. We also build a pretty cool farm with the create mod. We might have even crafted up a couple of pogs. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Spoiler. All right, let's hop straight into this episode. Hey guys, how's it going? So as y'all know, last episode, we were saving up to unlock the create mod. And we're actually super close. We only need about 23 more bolt diamonds. So we're going to 100% unlock that mod today. Also, I've been getting a ton of comments on why I don't break the chest inside the vaults. The main reason is I was saving up to craft a Zen Jewel and also waiting for them to fix the bug with the Black Opal pickaxe. If y'all don't know, there's a bug to where it breaks a lot faster than it should over the other pickaxes. So let me fill this table up. I'm going to try to go into speed and hopefully it doesn't break right away because I'm actually super low on this chromatic steel. Okay, sweet. We were able to get two sockets on there. Bucket, we're obviously going to put the Xenium Jewel. It requires three Chromatic Steel and then eight more for this to make the Black Chromatic Steel. Thankfully, I have 15 left, so that should leave me with one or two extra. The Xenium Gemstone costs eight Xenium and then one Perfect Xenium and then obviously a Perfect Black Opal for this. And then with all of that crafted, you can actually make the Xenium Jewel. We also have this reinforced one that I want to go ahead and add. So all you got to do is come over to an anvil and just shift click it in. It's only one level each. I should also be able to add this one, yeah, just for one level. And that reinforce gives me two extra repair slots. But now that that's out the way, let's go ahead and run a bolt. Oh, we got two times ornate. That is insane. So let's actually test this out. And yeah, I don't know if this is much faster, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and test it really quickly. This is me breaking them. And then here's me shift clicking everything out. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit faster. Our first tier two mob. I didn't know those actually spawned at level 20. Let's try it out on this gilded chest. Yeah, I don't know. I really think that it's faster for me to just click everything out. We'll try looting this way and see what my overall chest count is afterwards. Oh, here's one of those ornate ones that we got. I don't think that it works on living chests. Yeah, you need a hoe for these. I normally average about 100 chests per volt. So we'll see if there's like a super huge difference looting this way. We did get a nice orb POI and that's a couple pieces of black opal right there. Yeah, I think these ornate chests are going to help the overall average though. Oh, check it out guys an omega chest and earlier i think i said i needed 24 more volt diamonds or something like that it should actually be a lot less than that because i think i only need two more knowledge stars so maybe 16 or 18 i honestly am not the best at math hey but we found our first obelisk i'm still really hoping we find some escalium because i really want to craft that refill upgrade for these pouches yeah all these random ornate chests is actually pretty cool because they do drop carbon yeah look at this guy he looks like hero brian that is so freaky looking the only time i see this being faster is if i vein mine a huge portion of chests like that i guess we'll actually see once the volt's done with yeah i'm almost positive i average around 100 to 110 chests per volt oh my gosh guys i'm cornered in right now and there is an oh wait this may be a little easier than i think the king of cheese does he do anything special when he dies doesn't look like it yeah i think that was an elite husk a couple of living chests aren't gonna hurt because we do need that knowledge essence oh i think we found a village room no this is not a village room actually i've actually never seen this room before it looks almost like a little market but there doesn't seem to be anything for sale there's a few wooden chests though so that's gonna probably help out i guess if you guys have ever seen this room let me know what it's called down below because this is my first time ever seeing it it does look super cool though and it's probably an omega room because i have not seen a single mob oh look there's a tier two baby zombie too that's cool oh my gosh are you guys seeing what i'm seeing I'm pretty sure that's a scallium. That's the last gem we need to make a pog. And there's a few black opal, which is insane. And a xenium. Okay, let's hope we don't get a zero drop from here. We got five and a couple go to chest. After this, we'll probably start heading back to the portal. Yeah, time was running super low, but we were able to find the portal. So let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 8,000 experience isn't too bad. I'm actually super curious how many chests we got though. 147? 29 on eight chests is pretty huge. I guess it is quicker to actually break everything. Now let's check out what's in the pouches. Nine volt diamonds. That's pretty huge. We even got an identified axe i thought we found more than that but i guess i'm wrong let's see what we get just a normal scrappy oh that's a lot of damage though but we're gonna recycle it and then obviously the biggest find was that escalium and here's the other pouch we found seven mystery bugs and even a key piece that's pretty huge let's open these up because i know there's a chance to get no mega pod from these and no, but we did get some Ash Gem and Black Opal. Let me clear this inventory out and I'll be back. Okay, so we are only six volt diamonds away. So let's run another volt. Oh, I did not mean to craft that many. Well, at least now we'll have extra for later on. Recipe. Oh, we got lucky. Let's let this guy eat all these up. 
And my shield did break, so let's make another one. And let's see what we get. A common, but it's got 12% block chance. That's huge. And we can even change it to look like this guy over here. We also have three unspent skill points. So I kind of want to put those into dash. And then I want to put two more into healing. Actually, we'll just do that one more because this one right here is going to take 10 seconds to cool down. Let's actually start speaking into mana shield. It's not going to be too good right now, but later on down the line, it will be. Enough of that. Let's hop into a vault. Oh, a living vault now. That's pretty cool. Here's one of those stray living chests. Whoa, it was an omega and we got 10 knowledge essence from that. Oh, I just saw how many obelisks. Whoa, that's whoa what the heck did y'all guys see that he had tnt strapped to him i'm guessing it was a tier two but it could have also been an easter egg no telling i'm really hoping we get those six volt diamonds we need because i want to get into create as fast as possible are y'all seeing this guy he has a skeleton face oh i guess this was a dungeon actually there was another spawner right there that was super satisfying oh this is going to be pretty satisfying right there oh yeah we just found a super nice or poi with a ton of Laramar and even a black opal another black opal yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard Iskar talking about Black Opal spawns a lot more than it actually should. So I think it's going to be patched in the next update. Oh, no. Yeah, look, those creepers actually have TNT on their chest. So that's pretty scary. Thankfully, I still have this crossbow, though. So yeah, not too big of a problem. Maybe now that I've actually seen the results, it does feel a little bit faster doing it this way. I don't know if it's just me thinking that. Oh, we got something rare. Oh, look, there's an obelisk right there. Nice. Oh, we need six obelisks for this. I doubt we're going to find all of those. Another Orpui, and we got a Gorgonite. Oh, guys, check it out. We found another one. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is Pizza Night, and I believe that's Ashium. Nice. Should we do this? Wasn't worth it, obviously. But now our time is too low to continue looting, so let's try to find the portal. I'm really hoping we found all the Volt Diamonds we need it, because if not, that means we have to run another Volt, which isn't actually a bad thing. Oh, that didn't just happen. Oh, guys, I see the portal. We're back at the portal, so let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 6,000 XP, so that's a level up right there in 111 chest a little bit less than that last time but still better than our normal average i'm gonna clear my inventory out and i'll be back we're getting so many torches okay so let's see how many volt diamonds we got we got eight okay so we can actually unlock the create mod i think this thing needs a stack upgrade or two and let's see what we got in our other pouch 47 knowledge essence and two key pieces that's amazing let's see if we get that omega pop no but we did get some tubium roll this bad boy up and it is an orc helmet i wonder what that looks like oh that looks amazing actually but i do still like this one a lot i was actually told i could dye this so let's try to dye it white i don't know if it counts how many you put on there yeah maybe not oh you know what we need to do we need to craft up those pogs i wonder how many we can actually craft wait what am i missing i used all my xenium to make that axing jewel that's perfect because i think to get into create we actually need a pog let's actually see how many of these we can make first let's turn all of this into those knowledge shards we can get 44 so that's pretty cool oh wow look at that number i'm hoping that we have enough vineyardite for this i think we had the perfect amount because i think in total yeah okay that was amazing then I mean, we can turn these into these knowledge cores and then from there we can turn these into the knowledge stars let's do this six knowledge stars all about to go to the create mod we did it guys we got all six knowledge stars let's eat those up and we can now unlock the create mod nice oh we got a transmog from that what does that look like oh that's a pretty cool helmet i'm gonna transmog all this and we'll be back um this actually looks pretty cool and yes i am wearing pants you just really can't see them there we go all it is is just a little bitty build wait my boots don't have unbreaking or feather falling no wonder i was taking so much damage yeah let's fix that that's much better and just as i was worried about we actually need that xenium so we can make the windmill bearing we could always go with the water world but it takes so much more black chromatic steel and i don't feel like doing that actually we couldn't because we would need an infinite water bucket and that requires a pog so let's hop into another vault recipe not too bad actually i'm worried about the slime balls i've got enough though i'm so happy they changed this to be any kind of concrete powder and um i'm needing some glow berries so let's just put this here and just bone mail a few of them and one more oh <laughs> perfect yeah i guess we got a zero drop from that xenium earlier but are you guys ready for another volt i hope so oh no we got the one that i was not ready for it's the nether theme and check this out guys oh wait, you can't use the water okay never mind i thought that you couldn't for some reason but i did forget blocks i honestly don't even know what to expect in this volt i'm sure everything's about the same it's probably just harder mobs though yeah definitely harder mobs we get some piglins and even those fire wolves which are super scary whoa what is this i have never seen this before okay there's a magma cube i may have to start thinking about using afterlife please be more than a zero drop okay it was nice so this was definitely an interesting poi it looks like i just completed the bounty good news is i haven't seen any blazes so hopefully they don't spawn here we did get an ornate poi so hopefully we get that empty jar from here it doesn't look like it but we did get a few anvils and poison some coin piles so we may be able to find those blood vials from here there's one let's turn these bad boys in really hoping we get those spider charms from here i guess not so my guess on these ore pois they forgot to change it over to the new update yeah so i think they forgot to change all those ores out to the bolt stone 
a few more chances to get those empty jars. Hopefully we can do it. I still don't think we're going to complete the bounty though. We did get one out of that, which is pretty cool. I just have not been seeing very many gilded chests. I say that and then I spawn right next to some. Ah, uh, but none of them had the spider charms. Oh my gosh, a pig recruit spawned. We did find a mumba knight and we got four out of that. That's pretty good. Yeah, time is getting pretty low, so I'm going to just try to focus the Gilded and Living Chest just to see if we can complete this. Even if we do find everything from the Gilded Chest, I don't think we're going to be able to complete that Living one. Wow, we actually got the two Spider Charms that we needed, so let's turn those in real quick. Here's a few more Living Chests, but I doubt any of them are going to have these Skeleton Bone Shards. Yeah, not a single one did. We did get some Gilded, don't really need anything from them, but maybe we'll get a couple Diamonds. Time is kind of running low though. I may start trying to make my way back to the portal. All right, here's the portal. So let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 5,400 experience really isn't too bad. And 88 chest. I mean, towards the end, I really didn't go for chest. I was just trying to find the living and gilded. Without a doubt though, the biggest find was that Xenium. Let's see what kind of loot. We got some volt diamonds and a couple of gems, which is pretty good. And then from the main pouch, we got 11 mystery boxes and even a key piece. Let's open these up and see what we get. A couple pog gems I'm seeing. Ah, uh, we did not get that Omega Pog though. One of my buddies, the Storm Rider, actually got an Omega Pog from Mystery Box. So if you're not, go ahead and check him out. I'll link him down below. But without further ado, I believe we can craft a Pog now. We can, so there's our first one and here's our second one. Let's do what CWG forgot to do with his first Pog. Yeah, we're gonna frame it. So what we wanted to craft is his windmill bearing. You can see it's pretty expensive requires two of these guys and then it also requires a shaft which is actually pretty cheap you just need some of this andesite alloy which is just a couple pieces of andesite and also a chromatic iron ingot i would suggest making a ton of this stuff because you're going to need it down the line now we can actually make the windmill bearing so this thing's pretty cool i'm going to set it down here we can't actually use it just yet we're going to need a ton of these cells. I'm going to make this much for now because that's all I can actually do. You may even want to make up one of these radial chassis. And temporarily, I'm going to set it here. I'm going to put a radial chassis on it like that. After that, we're going to add these cells. It's kind of wonky placing them on there. So you always want to try to get one facing upright and then you can kind of break around it. And you need a minimum of eight of these cells for this thing to actually work. So once you have all eight, you can actually come right click this block right here and it should start spinning. Yes, just like that. You can see right here, this is actually rotating as well. The more cells you have, the faster this is going to go. Let me show y'all. So here's how I currently have it. They don't have to be in any specific order. You can actually have up to an 11 by 11 cube like that on there. But now whenever I right click it, you can see how much faster it's actually spinning. So we're 12 away from making it the max size, but this is how fast it currently is. Yeah, it looks like a huge saw blade. This is obviously not where I want to be looking at this thing all the time. Now let's turn this off because we're actually going to move it over there to the Hobbit Hill. Have I been too lazy to actually finish this up? Yes. So we need to find a good spot for this windmill. So I actually want to build it up here. And yes, you can actually have these sideways like this. Let me build this up to the max size and I'll be back. Okay, we should be able to right click this now. We sure can. You're probably wondering how I'm going to get this energy to start actually harvesting farms. That's where the these shafts come in handy you can actually transmit power like that now i know this is pretty ugly but let me show you all another way so you're gonna need some of these andesite casings and to get that you place a chromatic iron block down and you right click it with some andesite alloy after that you're gonna need a couple of these gearboxes they're pretty cheap you just need a couple cog wheels to make them and those ain't too bad to make either we'll go ahead and make all three of them and these things are pretty cool because they can transmit gears horizontally but if you want to do it vertically you can just put it right here and you'll get a vertical gearbox so we can put that right here and then a normal gearbox next to it and we could either go left, right, or pretty much all the way around. Now there's a few more things I want to make, one being the mechanical bearing, and the other being a mechanical drill. Another thing you're going to need is this mechanical press. It's also pretty cheap to make. You'll put that here with the gear going into it, and then you can put down a piece of iron just like this. Yeah, and it should start to press it down like that and give you a plate. You're going to need a lot of these, so I'd recommend making at least half a stack. It is a bit slow currently, but there is a way to speed up the gears. Now what we want to make are these portable storage interfaces. We want about two of those. We also need to smelt up some of our beloved kelp. The reason being is we need a mechanical belt. And we need an andesite funnel. We're done with this, so let's move this out the way. So on camera, I want to build a super simple farm for you guys. You're going to put a mechanical bearing here, a radio chassis. So if I want the items to get unloaded this way, I would put the block right there. This is just going to be a cobblestone generator. By no means are we actually going to keep this here. This is just kind of to demonstrate what Create is all about. But now if I click this, you can see it's going to drop the items off if there was any in it. It's going to start mining this block up just like this. And then once it comes over here, it should unload the item. I forgot you actually need an inventory on there like that. Now it should work. Okay, let's see if it drops anything off. It should drop off a piece of cobblestone. Oh, I actually think we need a funnel right here. Yeah, just like that. We had to make a little bit of an adjustment because I had to put a vertical gearbox there and now it's actually spinning the other way around. The reason I did that is because I need that gear to come over here to these ones. And like I said, currently this is going to be pretty ugly, but I'm going to clean all this up between episodes. So what we'll do is we'll add a large cog wheel here and then we'll add a smaller one right here in the corner. And that's actually speeding it up as well. I could even do it again if I wanted to like that. And now it should spin even faster. We'll then get this mechanical belt and put one in here and the other end right here. 
So here's the tip, don't have super glue in your offhand or it will not work. Well with this up and going, we should be able to shift click and enter side funnel there. And now any item that this thing spits out should go straight into this chest. Awesome. That's just a super simple farm. This mod allows for some super complex farms. I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea if you've never seen this mod before. Going to be doing a lot of infrastructure work off camera so we can get the brass and the more advanced machines from there. And then we can start building the super kelp farm next episode. Wait, what? I have never noticed this. It actually kind of looks like Among Us. I thought this cave was a little sus. So the plan for next episode is to get all this stuff cleaned up and get our infrastructure done. And then build the kelp farm and then also run a ton of volts. But you guys already know what time it is. We need to add the comments for the episode. Up first we have the Black Death. You can hear the strain in his voice as he tries not to say insane. It took everything I had not to say insane. I think I used the word huge a lot this episode though. And then we have Ally Gamer. You deserve million subscribers. Please pick my comment. Love you. I love all of you guys too. Thank y'all so much for subscribing by the way. We're nearly at our goal for the end of the month. Why am I missing a block here? Oh well. Must have been an enderman to be honest. I would like y'all guys to comment down below what y'all actually want to see next episode. If you just want to see volts let me know. I can do all the create stuff off camera. Because it does get pretty boring to be honest. Well, if you guys made it this far and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a ton. Because like I said, we're nearly at that thousand subscriber mark. But that's going to probably do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.